What up? And welcome to another episode of From the Script to the Screen, My Hero Academia Edition, episode 12 of season 7 is out now. So as always, you guys already know, gotta shout out the studio, Bones. A lot is going on right now in the My Hero Academia universe, so shout out to Bones because the movie is out right now. And from the trailers I've seen, it looks good. So if anybody's out there in Japan, definitely let me know what you thought about the movie. And gotta give a shout out to the creator, Kohei Horikoshi. As of tomorrow, the official last chapter of the manga comes out. So gotta give a shout out to Kohei. Appreciate the series. I've enjoyed it. Fun rod. I gotta say big shout out to Class 1A. My favorite thing about the series. And with that being said, they covered chapters 363 to 366, jumping into volume 37. And I'm glad that I could show you guys the cover, seeing of how the episode went. But a lot happened this episode, and I want to start off with Dobby. Because again, like I've been saying, shout out to Dobby. If things would have went another way, he would have been one of the most powerful superheroes. There's not much to say besides the fact that he's very strong. We see that. Even though it appeared that Shoto had landed a devastating blow, we see that Dobby was able to develop and copy Todoroko's quirk. Like he mentioned, Dobby was able to build his quirk up himself and that's why, again, his fire is stronger than Endeavor. So if you think about it, even though we know that Todoroki shot the Great Glacier eight year, you think of the name, must have been very cold. And so Dobby is able to circulate his blood, so now his core is so hot that he was able to melt the ice and now he's back so you gotta think about it it's crazy i could only imagine the amount of heat that he's generating then we get into the fact that all for one the reason why he was able to come back is because him and the doctor worked together and were able to liquefy eerie's quirk we know that shout out to eerie she has a reversing effect and so she's basically able to rewind time in a sense or space so He's able, he's coming back. He's going back to his peak physical form. But like he mentioned, it's a suit, it's a it's a double-edged sword because again, we know that Eerie's not able to stop her quirk. And so essentially, all for one will be reduced to nothing. But like he mentions, he'll be strong enough for a long time that he'll be able to help out his predecessor, Shigaraki. And all for one does in a sense, mention his overall goal. We already know that he wants to be the Demon Lord. And again, is this a general theme that's come out in the second half of the show in a sense and the fact that quirks, depending on what you have, are favorable in some way or are appreciated more. And we know that some quirks could be taboo or detrimental depending on your looks and things like that. And so we know that the scale isn't balanced in a way and people have wanted to rebel or lash out for a while. We know that it's been happening little by little, but now they've come together. That's why the villains have the upper hand. And that leads me to Shigaraki. And I'm glad that I'm able to show you guys the cover because we do see that the ninja hero is attempting to somewhat bring him back to life, resuscitate him. He has a special quirk and so he's able to thin himself. And so he's basically performing surgery on Bakugo, hoping that they'll be able to bring him back. And we know that that's infuriating Shigaraki because he feels like that's something that he's destroyed and he doesn't want to brought back. But we see that Bakugo was able to break him down a little bit and it appears that he's taking a little bit of damage. But we know that the all for one quirk is having some adaptability sequencing right now and so it's helping Shigaraki immensely and it's improving his body in a way that they think it'll be best fit for the situation so I gotta shout out this panel I did think the little upgrade that Shigaraki went through was dope more of a reinforcement but more brute in appearance as well so of course I'm assuming that he gets stronger and somewhat quicker. We, the heroes thought that they were getting a little bit of the upper hand, but they get shut down quickly. So, y'all already know my favorite panel of the week is definitely my boy. It's finally popped up. Deku has officially arrived at UA. And so now the fight has officially started because we know that this was originally set up 
for them. And so, looking forward to next week. As always, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. And to the manga readers, let me know what y'all thought about the series. Like I said, it's coming to an end. So, gotta shout out Kohei Horikoshi again. And let me know what you guys thought about the adaptation. Till next time. Peace.